That is the village of Bakus Vakani, ISIS's last stand. And apart from sporadic gunfire, all you can hear now is silence. Hundreds of ISIS fighters have reportedly surrendered in the past 48 hours, as many as half the estimated number left. American aid worker David Eubank said he saw dozens give themselves up to U.S. Special Forces right here. We saw a group of about 50 men, all fit, strong-looking guys, walking with like three women. They searched them all. They were all ISIS fighters that gave up. The U.S.-led coalition has released a statement saying while ISIS is on the verge of collapse and the end of the physical caliphate is at hand, they continue to pose a threat to the security of this region. As you can see here, ISIS, they are scattering, they are running. But one thing I know is that if we do not speak about the real issue, which is the indoctrination of the book and how the religion is being presented, if we don't speak about the truth in it, we will never stop it because it's the idea that is inside Islam um, that is um, inside the Quran that is making these people do this. As soon as they read the book, it's almost like their mind goes haywire and, and they're ready to kill. Um, what do you think about that? Well, over the last several millennia, every religion, for the most part, the major ones, have presented the thought that our way is the right way mm. or our way is the only way. And that's part of the salesmanship or the belief system but when you get to the point where our way is the wrong way, and if you don't believe our way, I need to kill you, that's where you cross a line between civilization and barbarity. And that's the problem I have. I don't care what anybody believes. And to say otherwise, I think, is not very liberal in the sense of uh, granting other people freedom, especially freedom of religion. I just don't want to be told what to believe, and I don't want to be told what to believe at the end of a sword with the threat of death hanging over my head. When the world gets to the point where they say, you can believe whatever you want, and if you come to convert me with the sword, I will kill you, then this insanity will stop. But until then, and until people get to the point of understanding what certain people believe is a threat to their way of life, to their family, to their children, to their countries, this insanity is just going to grow and continue. People need to be educated, Jermaine, and I hope as many of your listeners as possible type in findberry.com. They can read all about it. We post on it every day.